Real quick, I want to show you what, what this is. Um, these are... These are 148 grain uh, full wad cutters. They're not hollow base. They're full wad cutters cast for the, for the 38 special. Kind of a pretty bullet, isn't it? They cast real good. They're coming out of a Hesley and Gibbs mold. It's a very old mold that's not made anymore. It's a gang mold. So I cast them like that. Now normally what I would do is I would use a lubricant on them, which would be a petroleum-based lubricant, and either I would uh, I, I would either um, pan lube these, put them in a pan and pour the lube around them, or I would tumble lube them with a mixture of um, alox and uh, a couple of different kinds of waxes and some um, mineral spirits, and then let them dry. Well, now what I do is I powder coat. Take a look at that. Ain't that pretty? These are powder coated. And the powder coating acts as a lubricant and, and, and a sealant, which is what lubricant does. But look how good they came out. This is what I use was the cheap powdered paint, which is Harbor Freight Red. And, uh, See, it came out very nicely. The whole rack of them came out very nicely. Now, I get that on there. Anybody who knows it works with powder paint knows that you need to have a static charge to make it stick before you put it in the oven. So what I do with that is I have this tub, which is an old sour cream tub, and I have some powder paint in there, and those, those BBs you see in there are black airsoft pellets. So when I put the bullets in there and I shake it and shake it and shake it for, oh, about 10 minutes, um, it builds up a static charge and causes the powder to stick to the bullets. Then I put them in this oven and I bake them. It's supposed to be 400 degrees, but that thermometer goes to 450, almost 500 a lot of times. I'm sitting there backing it down and everything like that. I can't seem to get a setting on this oven that takes it where it needs to be and leaves it there. But I can't complain about the results. So, we'll load these up, shoot them in my new 38, and see how that works. All right, bye.